Do you it's know? Gonna, it's going to be out November, is it, this year? Do you know why I want um, <clears throat> new consoles as well? Why is that? Because every time a new console comes out, um, computer, like PC specs, they jump up as well and new parts come out. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to buy my PC. So then when I do have a good PC, it'll be able to um, hold, you know, like it'll be able to play on max settings all the sort of really good new rather next than, gen rather, games. Rather than buying an Alienware PC for two grand. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd rather do. I'd rather buy a new PC when it comes out that I can build myself. Like when the new consoles come out, because I can build to match those specs. Well, not the console specs, because knowing they'll probably be pretty shocking, but optimized. But I'd want to buy a good PC that'll be able to handle the next gen games. Because I know PC goes up, but it can only go up so far because all the PC games, for the most part, are made. But they have to be made with the consoles in mind. Yeah, I mean, they 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 don't want to go too far. I mean, PC games they, they, they the the uh, specs can go up every couple of months if you really wanted to. And to play to play some games on the higher settings, you have to have <laughs> one of them PCs that costs two or three grand. Yeah, I know, but there's there's no reason for them to make make really because they can go way <clears throat> they can go way higher graphically um, than they they are right now because. Uh, because they're holding back because most games are made with the console, like I said, in mind. No, I don't know if that's true, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, but I mean, they have to be able to be played on the console, so they can't have a certain, they can't have a really high end graphic thing. Because oh, oh, really? How's, a, um, how's an original Xbox Battle- going to hold it? Battlefield, on the, if you look at Battlefield 3 on the PC, on the highest settings, it looks so much better than. Oh, that. yeah, 500 frames per second. <laughs> it, not, I was just talking about fluid, it just. A, it looks so much clearer. Everything's so much better on the PC if it's if you have a PC that can play it. <laughs> yeah, which is like one in every how many people. <laughs> yeah, not, not many people have that sort of PC, and that's the reason. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. What else is on the Nintendo? Seeing this straight <clears throat> away, I'm going to drag you back into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> next Nintendo. Oh no, Nintendo! Why'd you do this to me? You've had like. On your new console that you announced, from what I remember, there was like one decent new type of game, <laughs> and that's the zombie game. <laughs> zombie U. That looks quite fun. It looks. It's, it's made by Ubisoft, so I mean. Well, Ubisoft have a couple of games that come out on the Wii, aren't they? They got they're releasing Assassin's Creed. Yeah. No, but I mean like a new game that's Wii specific. Wii specific, yeah. That's good. I like, I like the fact that. Developers are getting behind the Wii console, Wii U console. Yeah. Because I want to see some more exclusives for it. Because, like I say, there's only one decent one. Because they're re-releasing Mass Effect three for the um, Wii U, aren't they? (laughs) Maybe with a different ending, eh? (laughs) (laughs) I have a feeling they will have to put the ending on to make you make people buy it. I wonder how they're going to do DLC on Nintendo. They will. It's got to do, it's I, gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna have to increase the internet part of it if they want to. If they want to attract this hardcore audience, which they're apparently doing, they're gonna have to increase their internet. Speed. I know. It just makes me laugh when they say that, and then you see like um, Stroke the Pony game, which is ridiculous. <laughs> just, uh, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just waiting for them to start going indie, indie games. If, if you, Wii. if you want a massive audience, right? I'm telling you, the ultimate MMO to make. And that is something I've been harping on about for a very long time. <laughs> you mentioned it is freaking. <laughs> I'm not talking about the pirates MMO where you go on land and you search for buried treasure and then you go back on sea and fight your enemies. I'm not talking about that MMO. <laughs> talking about a naval Warcraft. <laughs> no, I am talking about a Nintendo franchise that already sucks up so much money. But if they did this, they could literally they could literally buy Sony and Xbox, <laughs> and that's make a three D massive Pokemon MMO. Oh yeah, right. I I challenge you, internet. I challenge you to find one person that is against that idea. <laughs> that would be um, pretty amazing. Can you imagine it? You go along. The world is massive. It has every Pokemon in it. Right. It would but, be hard for them to literally copy and paste 
you've got Pokemon, you got Pokemon Red, you got them eight cities. You have each, you have gold. You have no, but I mean, it can be a completely new kind of city or whatever. Or they can add, yeah. they can have all the regions, like have all the regions they've made so far, and then add maybe another one or another one as DLC or something, like an expansion. Yeah. yeah. And then they can have like they can have say the f- the first three generations of Pokemon in the game already, and then they could add uh, another set. Because I'm, I know there's like a new whatever, uh, Pokemon set. I'd just love a decent p- a PVP sort of game. Can there. you imagine it if they refined? It'd just be like Pokemon Stadium, but good. But good. I, I was even right before we started this. I, I actually had this idea in my brain, <laughs> and um, I was imagining that you know go into the um, you know there'd be massive Pokemon marts and you can buy uh, little upgrades for your Pokemon and blah de blah de blah. And maybe, you know, different tops and stuff for your character. It might be just, maybe just like sort of have no sort of gameplay value or it could have sort of like stat boosting abilities, but not good ones. Nothing too, oh, there goes my phone. That's the problem. When, um, if you have your character at 99, how do you then differentiate your thing? Like Warcraft, once you get to level 64, is it 80 now? Yeah, when you get to level 80. You um you then have to raid to get better gear to raid to get better gear to raid. To yeah, get that's gear, raid to get. That, that's gear. why I was thinking. Um, yeah, to raid. People, to get gear. <laughs> as long as it was balanced and Pokemon is really, um, like um, what you do. You, what you do though is you make the percentage drops of Pokemon. You know that appear. You know, say Pokemon. Certain Pokemon appear in certain areas. Obviously, Pokemon's been a staple, and you know that. Yeah. yeah. But what they what you do is you make each like. The rarer Pokemon is you make them super rare, like zero point zero zero one percent chance you'll see it. That yeah. way, if someone encounters it and they do capture it, then they've got a spe- they've got a really good Pokemon that they can trade if they want, or they can train up. They can sell it for shit time. Yeah, and then. I reckon there'll be an auction. They can put an auction house. <laughs> not not an auction house, but maybe there could be like a trading center. Where you just go, I want one of these Pokemon, and. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you could put something up saying I'm looking for a Pikachu level fifty, and this is how much I'm willing to give. And then someone can send you a mail saying I'm have I have that, and then you both go to that place, blah blah blah. blah exchanges is made, but not for real money or anything, obviously. Although I can imagine, like you know, with Warcraft, how the people buy gold on eBay and stuff. Oh, uh, what little gold farmers in? Yeah, or you know, you you buy the Sword of a Thousand Truths on eBay. <laughs> Nice little South Park reference. Yeah. <laughs> stick of stick of truth. Yeah. Oh yes, that's the perfect next thing to go on to before I spend like a million years talking about a Pokemon MMO that's never going to happen because Nintendo, you're stupid. <laughs> Uh, just keep releasing new and new. They can keep adding Pokemon in. Yeah, that, that's the thing. <laughs> How many? I would not stop playing that game. And the thing is, that is an MMO that can go on a console. That is one of, that can work on a console. Can you imagine going through a fully properly 3D world? You make your own custom character, and all like oh, stick of truth, stick of truth. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, have you seen the trailer? I haven't, no. Uh, right, well, I've got it up, and I'm going to play it now. So I will ask for some silence. So um, something, stuff, things, words. <laughs> and we will watch this, and then I will ask for your reactions of it. Yeah, that looks amazing. All right, tell me that doesn't look good. <laughs> I, 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 I just like, I love all the little... Re- it's just, so it's Lord of, the, Lord of the Rings, but with... Um... South Park. <laughs> I think it's just going to be an FP, like an RPG. It's not going to be an MMO or anything. I don't think. Hopefully, there's a. Co- it might be a co-op mode if we're lucky. If we're lucky, because that is a playthrough that needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be yeah. That'd be done. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. I th- the only the only problem I have with that trailer is like a problem I have with most trailers. There's no gameplay. No gameplay in it. Oh, pull my hair out. <laughs> Give me some gameplay, damn it! I just want to see what the mechanics are like. <laughs> whenever, whenever a game does that, because I'm just like, how like, does it play? Is it like a Chrono Final yeah, Fantasy yeah. style, or is it, or is it open world, or what is it? Tell me. <laughs> put, put it this way: the last game that I played that didn't have a that didn't have game that didn't have a gameplay in its trailer was um, Dead Island. 
Oh, don't this say trailer, that. The trailer looked amazing. You're getting my hopes. I mean, you're, put, you're putting my hopes down. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> don't say stuff like that. Because, because we, we both bought that. We did. <laughs> and we played through it. It was fun because of how, for how bad it was. <laughs> to be to be fair, I played the beginning on my own and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> But then after you get a bit, get a decent... After you're like, oh, this happens all the time, then um, <laughs> you kind of get used to it. <laughs> that kind of is the problem with all zombie games, though. Yeah. Oh, I'd love a decent zombie zombie survival game where you literally start with nothing. Right, talking about survival games, did you see The Last of Us? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is like, have, uh, have you heard of a game called I Am Alive? Yes. Have you seen any gameplay from it? Yeah, I've seen I Am Alive, yeah. It's like if I Am Alive was an amazingly good game. <laughs> wow. The, the <laughs> gameplay for it is ridiculous. You go along, from what I can tell from what I've seen in the gameplay, I haven't looked into the story at all, but you're like this guy and like you're with this little girl and you go you go around together and I think they were on a film shoot or something when whatever like was going down. There was, there was a poster of them two um, in the gameplay. And anyway, they're sneaking around and like, well, they're just walking around and they get to like sort of this sort of hospital type place and they hear voices and it's like survivors because it's just like a survival game and yeah. um, they get down because like there's, they're doing patrols and stuff and oh, we, we was going on about visceral games earlier. This is amazing. Like he when he jumped through the window and attacked the guy, you can properly see like him struggling and all these things. And at one point, you run out of bullet. He runs out of bullets, right? And he goes to shoot. Well, he can't shoot the guy because he pulls the trigger and it clicks. And the guy behind the wall, do you know what he says? He goes, I know what that sound means. And he comes out with his gun. It's awesome. <laughs> and he starts walking towards your your guy because your guy's hidden behind something. Is this all gameplay or is this another no, this is, that doesn't live up to it? It's, all, it's gameplay, uh, from, what, from what I can tell, for the most part. And... Um, yeah, he's walking towards it, and do you know what? The girl's in another piece of cover. She pops out. She goes, "Hey, asshole!" And she throws a brick in his face. Oh, it's amazing! Damn. And then he runs over there and elbows him into the wall and um, knocks him to the floor. Takes his shotgun, and the guy's like, "No, no!" And then he shoots him in the face. It's amazing. Well, it sounds pretty awesome. Well, I think I'm blurring two different kills in there, but <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds cool either way. It is really good. I, I'm I'm, that's, I'm definitely getting that. Another game with it just goes on about that visceral fucking killing. This is, this is the thing that seems to be travelling through E3. Mm. It's sort of killing while in motion. <laughs> um, it seems to be something that, you know, Assassin's Creed said it, apparently. The last last of us said it. And um, Splinter Cell keeps going on about it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, you, you mark <clears> targets <throat> while you're running, while killing some more, you're marking more targets. Then it goes that. It just turns the game into mark and then press right trigger. <laughs> that la- the last the last thing to sell was so easy. The, the new one seems they're going a bit too Assassin's Creedy. Yeah. I mean, with I the climbing. I'd, I'd love them to make a, a decent Splinter Cell again because I used to love Splinter Cell. I did quite enjoy. I, I saw during the sort of the trailers and stuff for it that you can uh, distract people by saying like "Hey you" and they'll like turn around. On connect. Yeah, and you can take them out. I, I actually did quite like that, but the, the thing with connect is they put all this technology into it, and the only good part of it is the sound, the audio. <laughs> the, the actual. It's because nobody actually wants to stand there and wave their arms around. And... Just, they can't make a good game for it. That's why. It's because you do, it's because you do you you do it, but then they don't read it, and that's, that inaccuracy is what ruins it. The, and pl- no one's willing to invest the money in the tech because there's a very high chance it's gonna f- are gonna fail. Oh yeah. Because of the reasons we we just said, because no one wants to, because it's, it's it seems gimmicky. It's, it's yeah, it can't. It's not very good in a uh, in a gameplay environment. Yeah. yeah. 